Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I'm going to show you the new snowflake burst dies from iCrafter. They are really pretty little snowflakes and they have a ton of dimension. It may look like they're really complicated, but I promise they're not. They have a, a little trick which I'll show you to get them to pop up really fast and easy. So let's take a look at the bits and pieces that we're using for our card in our tag today. This is the snowflake burst die set. You get three different dies. There's this large cluster and it cuts out all one piece there. So these dies give you the look of layers, but it's a single die. And you can see that's the individual snowflake. And then there's also a trio. And when you cut them out, they look like this. You can see this one is still flat. I haven't popped it up yet. There's a trick for it, and I'll show you that in just one second, but you'll get all of this dimension, and it's really, really fast. So I want to show you that these dies are, are really fun to play with. Um, and there is a whole line of different burst dies for MyCrafter, so you might want to check those out. For today's projects, we're going to be making a slimline card. I'm going to use the Sentiment Joy from the Holiday Dovetail card set, and I cut that out six times. And then our tag is using the Zip Gift Tag. I believe that's what that die set is called there. Um, you'll cut out two pieces. The first one for the back will be solid, and then for the top piece, you're gonna drop in the zipper and cut that out. And then they'll layer together. The recipient will be able to peel back the zipper and get to the gift card that's sandwiched inside. For a little bit of shimmer, we're going to use some gems and some liquid pixie dust on our snowflakes just to zhuzh them up. You could cut them from glitter paper if you want to and save that step. But let me show you that trick I was talking about. So you're going to need a foam pad or like a mouse pad, something like that, and a stylus, like a large ball tip stylus will be good. If you don't have that, you could use maybe, I don't know, the back of a spoon or something that's kind of blunt. And all you're going to do is just go around the edges and kind of in a circular pattern and they will pop up. Now, like I said, iCrafter has a series of bursts. So they, they came out with the cherry blossoms, which are just gorgeous. Uh, there's butterfly bursts and now these new snowflakes. And see how they just pop up? You, you just rub the stylus around and they pop up. And you can lift them up a little bit more with your fingers if you want. And then for some of the uh, details on the snowflakes there, they're kind of itty bitty ones. Um, I just came back in with my little pick and kind of pushed them up a little bit from behind. And you get all of this dimension uh, from each of the layers, but it's all one piece. And the edge um, around the, the outside edges there, it stays flat, so you can just glue that down to your card base, and the other pieces pop up. So it gives you a layered effect, but it's all one quick and easy die. Um, so let's go ahead and start assembling the cards, or the card in the uh, tag here. For my sentiments, because my snowflakes had so much dimension, I want my sentiments to not be flat as well. So I'm just going to take three of the uh, word joy and just stack them together, glue them together. I do find that it's easier to use my locking tweezers to hold dies like this in place. And I'm using PVA glue in a fine line bottle. You could also use the double stick adhesive sheets on the back of your cardstock before you cut them out. But I didn't, I just used my PVA glue there. And when I stacked them up, I had a nice thick chipboard effect for the word joy. For the slimline card, all I'm gonna do is glue the craft mat to the background there. The slimline card, I believe my dimensions are three and a half by eight and a half, and the mat is cut down about a quarter of an inch, quarter inch shorter and a quarter inch narrower. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that large cluster to the card here. And I just applied glue around the outside edges, the, the pieces that were still flat that are gonna stick to the card, and a little bit on the uh, centers there too, to allow them to stick down. And then I just went around with my fingers and got it in place. I'm gonna pop one of my sentiments onto that card there, and then that single snowflake as well. And it just, I just played around with it, trying to figure out which placement I liked better. Once I figured that out, um, I'll glue those pieces down. 
And again, those tweezers are very handy to hold pieces like this to glue down. And you can see I'm just applying glue to the outside edges and a little bit in the center. And when you push it down, you can kind of fluff up the edges with your fingers again. And I'm not worried about them flattening out in the mail. They will push down a little bit, but they won't go completely flat again. Um, so you'll still have that dimension even when you mail it. Then I can glue my sentiment in place. And how fast did this card come together? I, I have a couple dies on it, and that's it. You can cut out a bunch of these while you're sitting watching TV and assemble these cards really quickly. So let's move on to our tag. Now I've got, um, it's not a gift card, it's a, I think a hotel room card, but it's the same size and I just have it on my desk there. I'm going to use that as a placeholder for a gift card. And what I want to do is to sandwich it between the two tag layers. So I'll go ahead and cut down some foam and because my foam tape is a half inch wide, so I need it a little bit more narrow. My trick for that to not gum up my scissors is to put it on a piece of release paper and then I can just cut the strips down to the right size um, and it doesn't stick to my stickers or to my scissors. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and add the foam tape around the edges on the back of the zipper side. And I'm making sure not to add any foam where you would open the zipper because then it, it wouldn't open. I'm also leaving enough room for the gift card to sandwich inside there. And I, because this is not the actual gift card, I'm not going to fully assemble it. I'll leave the release paper on two sides so that I can slip an actual gift card in as we get closer to Christmas. So I've just got tape around the uh, four corners or the four edges of where the gift card will sit and then I'm going to put a little bit more up at the top and again the zipper is not covered on the edge there. You see how you can open that zipper up. So I'll peel back the release paper like I said from the top and from one side but I'm going to leave it in place on the bottom and the opposite side. That'll give me a whole corner that will open up and allow me to slip a gift card in once I attach it to the other side. And I'll just line it up, push it down, and you can see I, I'll easily be able to put my gift card in there and then remove the release paper later. And now all I need to do is glue down the sentiment and my last snowflake burst there. I really do like using the tweezers like this just to help me get my fingers out of the way. I can line up words, make sure they're not crooked, that kind of thing. And a little bit of my glue seeped out, so I just used a little craft pick to pick up the excess. Uh, that glue is PVA glue, so it will dry clear and matte. Some of my glues are a little more shiny, so I do want to pick those up. This one is not that big of a deal, but I, I just like to work clean if I can. And so I'll get my snowflake burst down and finish up this tag here. Now I want to add a little bit of details to it as well. So I'm going to come back in with some ribbon. I've got just a sheer organza ribbon that's white to match my snowflakes. I think the craft and white is a really pretty combination for Christmas. It's a little... I don't know, maybe country, but it's also, it's just pretty. Um, and I am going to add a little bit of sparkle to it with some gold. So I've got some gold cording that I wrapped around the edges of that uh, white ribbon there. And I'll just tie a little bow and clip that off. And now it looks like an actual tag. I can use a white gel pen to write who it's to and from on the back. And then for a little bit more sparkle, I'm coming in with liquid pixie dust. You could also use any of the shimmer pens. Those work great. But you get a lot of sparkle with the liquid pixie dust. And it has an a, a bit of an adhesive in there to kind of lock it down. So I don't get a lot of... Uh, a lot of like fallout, that kind of thing with the glitter after it's dry. While it's wet, you can still move that glitter around. But for the most part with the liquid pixie dust, once it's down, it, it's pretty much in place. 
and I just went ahead and brushed it all over the uh, snowflakes and the sentiments and then I even dry brushed because at the end I had a little extra left I dry brushed it around all of the uh, brown craft as well and for my final bit of zhuzh I'm going to come in with some uh, gold gems here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the gold or the iridescent, but I thought the gold would be pretty and kind of match my cording there. So I'm just going to use a jewel picker, and this time I'm using Nubo uh, Deluxe Adhesive. That works a little bit better, I find, for gems and for sequins. And after I get them all glued down, I'm going to put my extra back in. Um, I do really like these new trays that have pouring spouts on them. It makes it really easy to to get the gems back into their containers. So that wraps up my card and my tag. We can take a closer look here with some prettier pictures. You can see all of the dimension on these snowflakes and how fast did they pop up. It, it's so easy. These burst dies are really, really cool. I think it's such a neat idea. It really looks like I've got you know several layers there and they pop up and they're just gorgeous. It was fast and easy. So I hope that I've inspired you to give them a try. I've got links to everything down below. I've got a blog post with more pictures and all that. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe. Here's a few more videos you might enjoy as well. As always, my friends, thanks for watching.